Hi, I'm Mitch Mitchell. So by now I've been making videos for, what, three or four years or so, and we're getting close to the end of another year. But I wanted to talk about the process of putting videos on YouTube. You know, it's an interesting thing. Um, everyone knows, what, is it one or two years ago when Google decided that they were going to link uh, YouTube uh, profiles with Google Plus profiles, and they were going to force people into having to basically set up a Google Plus profile using their real name. And people freaked and they went all nuts and worried about their privacy and all this other kind of mess. And I was one of the few people who actually loved that idea. Why did I love that idea? Because I'm tired of trolls. I hate trolls. Uh, I also don't trust a lot of people who like to use fake names on stuff. I've noticed that a lot of those folks who use fake names, and I don't mean, you know, like a nickname or something, but I mean, you know, some really fake names. Um, they don't have any videos on their channels, which is okay. You know what? My wife has a YouTube channel somewhere that she doesn't have any videos on just so she can get notified when I put up a video. So it's not that. But, you know, when people hide behind fake names, then they think they can pretty much say anything they want to. But Google had a plan, and it seems to somehow be working. Uh, I have one very popular video on this channel. I think it's got something like 6,700 views. That's for me, that's magnificent. My last one only got 12 views. Who knows how many views this one's going to get. But, you know, I keep trying. Anyhow, it's got a bunch of views. And it's got mm, a whole bunch of comments as well. And a lot of people have been pretty nice, but some people aren't so nice. But the strange thing about it is that it seems that Google or YouTube, you know what, use them interchangeably, they seem to know which accounts are spam or at least what kind of messages are coming out because they're removing a lot of messages. How do I know? Because I get notified. I get a message on the phone saying, hey, someone has left you a message. And I see the beginning of the message. Then sometimes I go to Google Plus and I see the message there. Yet when I go over to the video, nada, nothing there. It's just not there. And I'm not mad at YouTube whatsoever. Um, I don't remember if I put any filters up, but you know, I don't use any bad language. So if you know, if something showed up on my channel with bad language, I would delete it anyway. I don't believe in the attacking thing. You know, people can disagree with me all they want to, and they can put up other stuff. But if I'm called a name or anything like that, you know what? It's gone. It's, it's just history. But Google is doing that for me. I'm not doing anything. Then, I think yesterday, I get this notification from someone, and I saw the message, and it said, Hey, I've got a video channel. I'd love you to go see it. I'm like, oh man, one of those. So I go looking for it, gone. Not even there. Hey, it's not me doing it. It's it's Google looking out for us or YouTube looking out for us. Now, some people will not like that kind of thing. They'll say, well, geez, no, I want to see everything so that I can filter it. You know what? If this is one less thing that I have to deal with, I'm not upset in the least. Now, there are going to be some other folks who are going to say, well, you know, why should we allow that kind of censorship? Because you're a jerk. Not everybody here watching this, of course, but jerks don't deserve not being censored. I'm sorry. You know, there was some person on Fox, F-A-U-X News, <laughs> and I don't watch that channel, but someone shared the video on Facebook, so I, you know, saw this thing. And she was upset because she said that people don't have the right not to be offended by what someone else has to say. And in the same breath, she was offended because someone didn't like something she said. And she said, oh no, she didn't like something that someone else said. And she said, well, how dare they say that about me? I'm thinking, well, you just said <laughs> that people don't have the right not to be offended. You know, you don't get to have it both ways. I choose not to be offended. I choose not to deal with trolls. Come visit the blog. If you leave a troll message, that bad boy's gone. You leave a message on Facebook, of course, Facebook takes care of that stuff. You know, if you don't know me on Facebook, you probably can't get through. Twitter's probably the only place that you could get away with it once. And I'm going to bounce that. I'm going to block that, too. So, you know, it's an interesting thing. I'm going to thank YouTube for doing that for me. But I'd like to know, what is your opinion? Are you happy that Google, a.k.a. YouTube, is censoring stuff for you? Or would you rather do it yourself? Let me know. I'm Mitch Mitchell. I'm a happy guy tonight. Y'all take care.